Today, we're doing something a little different. I have a lot of work to do. You know, I got to bed really late last night, didn't get much sleep, really exhausted. So I figured let's save some time by not cooking and do a no prep carnivore day of eating. We're gonna start with a whey protein shake. And for those of you guys that haven't really looked into it, and, and this is only something I've really known about recently, whey protein is an excellent source of B vitamins, minerals. I would say it can be hypothetically one of the healthiest foods on the planet because you're taking whey, which is a very nutritious animal product, a byproduct of cheese making, and they spray dry it so it super concentrates the protein, the minerals, the B vitamins, and let me show you guys how I make this shake. So I have my blender here, and yeah, you could use a regular protein shaker, but I found that the blender is 10 times easier and you actually save time even if you have to clean it. So we do have grass-fed whey protein on Frankie's Teenage Meat at the most affordable price online. I decided to get it after figuring out how nutritious it was. So, you know, normally people do like two scoops of whey protein in their shake, but two scoops, 50 grams of protein, come on. I do the max dose, which is four scoops, but four scoops, come on. You see these 17 inch steel pipes bolted to my body? We gotta go a little more. So I do five scoops of whey protein, which is 125 grams of protein. You could go even a little higher at 150 grams. So this is unflavored whey. So what I do is I take a little bit of vanilla powder, put that in there, a little bit of raw honey, and we'll put that in there too. Maybe the landscaper wants to add some lawn clippings. I don't know if you guys live in a suburban area, but it seems like there is no time of day where someone isn't weed whacking or blowing some leaves around. So now I just take some spring water. This is some local New York Saratoga water. I try not to add too much water because I don't really want to dilute my stomach acid, which is very important for digesting protein. Now, could you just drink regular whey? Absolutely, but regular whey is so diluted it's like the opposite of calorically dense that you'd have to drink such a high volume of it to get a lot of nutrition. For no prep, vanilla honey whey protein is really good. I could drink this every morning. And the reason I'm doing this now is, you know, since I'm bodybuilding and trying to get in a lot of protein throughout the day, this is a great way to start everything, simulate my digestion and get a lot of B vitamins in which really wakes me up and makes me feel good. And bonus, this is a really good source of calcium. So if you're allergic to regular dairy, you might be able to tolerate whey to get some calcium in. So that's it for now. Since this was actually a lot less than I thought it would be, I'm probably gonna eat again relatively soon uh, in about an hour or two and have my larger meal. Oh, I almost forgot. Oh yeah. That's my little ode to Rich Piana. It's been about an hour and that protein shake digested super quickly, which is great for bodybuilding because your goal is to eat as many calories as possible. And I do that comfortably. I never overeat. I don't like stressing my digestive system. And I can't emphasize how excited I am that I discovered the whey protein as it's such an excellent source of the B vitamins that are typically missing from meat. It digests very quickly, so it doesn't stress your body's enzymes. Uh, but we'll see how I tolerate it. If I start getting acne, if I start having uh, some digestive issues. So we're gonna have some smoked salmon and prosciutto. The only reason we're really having the salmon is because the prosciutto probably has a bit too much omega-6. And I also have some caviar here that uh, I never really ate that I used for a video once. Uh, we have this much more affordably on Frankie's syringe meat. Uh, but this is basically gonna be a lot of B vitamins a lot of omega-3s, which I'm probably deficient in because I haven't been eating enough fish lately. Uh, but mostly really B vitamins, protein, calories, and I want to be careful with this prosciutto because, you know, I'll literally sit down and eat like two pounds of this and I'll have to drink like a gallon of water later. So I'll try to portion it reasonably and I'll try to eat the fish first so I don't overconsume the prosciutto. So this is prosciutto San Daniel, which is to me a little better than prosciutto di Parma. Uh, if I wanted to splurge a little bit, I would get Iberico, the Spanish ham, which is definitely better from an omega-3 perspective. And this is a very dry, dehydrated meat product. So when you consume this, 
it's almost like the digestion is delayed. So it's very easy to overeat this, but until this hydrates in your stomach and starts getting broken down by the enzymes, you won't really feel full. So again, I'm trying not to go too crazy with this. Once I'm on the way down to Frankie's Strange Meat, I stopped by this Italian deli and I got like a pound of capicola and two pounds of prosciutto and I ate like three pounds of it in my car. <laughs> I literally drank like five bottles of Pellegrino after I did that. I was so thirsty. All right, so we have the prosciutto. I don't know if I could eat this much smoked salmon at once. Four ounces, all right, maybe I can. Yeah, it doesn't, like four ounces doesn't sound like a lot, but smoked salmon kind of is a lot. What, do they glue this to this thing? Okay. That little piece right there is 15 cents worth of smoked salmon. How much they charge for this stuff. So here we have the salmon roe, the caviar. And I'm gonna try to eat all this today because I don't think I'm gonna eat it another day to be honest. So this is gonna be a really filling meal and I might not actually eat anything else today. So let's uh, sit down and, and enjoy this. I'm excited, this is a, a nice change of pace. This is so salty. This is way saltier than the one we have on Frankie's Strange Meat. Then again, you aren't supposed to eat this on its own by the spoonful. So this is probably the healthiest food from a, a nutrient density perspective. It's so high in omega-3, DHA in the phospholipid form, plus it has all of the other vitamins and minerals. Like literally every single B vitamin, every single fat soluble vitamin, every single mineral, this food is not missing anything. That's why it's so satiating. And fish eggs need to have all those nutrients because they're literally providing everything for the salmon to grow. Every nutrient that the baby needs to turn into an adult. Uh, plus one thing we didn't mention, a lot of cholesterol, which is so important for many functions. And since it's so concentrated, it's a great source. Now this is like enough omega-3 for a month. So by all means, you should kind of like split this up into three or four weeks. Now to me, regular salmon is not that enjoyable, but smoke stuff, really good. You can't eat a lot of it though. The, uh, the omega-3 is really satiating. It is very copper based, so it's a good balance to a heavy zinc diet. So we had our smoked salmon, our caviar. Guys, even in the morning before I had that protein check, I wasn't hungry. I wasn't hungry before I started this meal. And I'm not hungry now, but I'm not full, so we'll try to get some more calories in. This stuff is dangerous. I don't think I can stop eating it. Now, everything we've eaten today is pretty high in histamine. So we might want to, you know, take some vitamin C and copper later so that we can fall asleep tonight. My heart is pounding already. Yeah, I think I'm going to take six milligrams of copper and half a teaspoon of Ace Roll of cherry powder. And what I'm, what I'm also trying to do is get my meals in early on in the day so that my body can get rid of the histamine. And this really depends on your gut status, but for me, I am a little sensitive. Most people are way worse off than me though, because carnivore diet makes you so copper deficient that you can't tolerate any histamine. It's almost five o'clock now. I've been working all day, answering emails, writing some scripts. I still have to work out. And since Frankie boy has been working so hard, he's gonna treat himself with what might be his current favorite food. So hopefully by the time this video goes up, we have these on Frankie's Strange Meat. Uh, the company is Rio de Arosa and they specialize in these mussels. All they make is mussels. And it's Galicia, Spain. It's famous for the quality of the shellfish. And guys, these are so delicious. It's uh, mussels in olive oil with a little bit of seasoning. And each one of these containers is 250 calories, but I'm assuming that includes the oil, which we won't be eating. And maybe we'll do an escabeche sauce recipe in the future so I can show you guys how to make this, but it's never turned out as good as these mussels. These are like $4.50 at Whole Foods. So it's not exactly cheap for one can of mussels. But the Spanish are known for their conservas and they put so much care into these cans, you know, it's like a nice round can. We have mussels that were meticulously placed in this can. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's like 12 mussels per can, which is good because some of these other companies will literally sell like five or six mussels for like seven bucks. This is 12 for about four, which is way better. No, I might like these more than the prosciutto. These are so good. This is a $1 bite. 
Although mussels aren't super high in fat, they still have a good amount of omega-3s, but the main benefit is excellent source of B vitamins, excellent source of minerals like selenium, and you know, shellfish to me is you know, something that should be added to every diet. It's just, it's hard to get quality stuff and there are certainly pollution concerns. But you know, this isn't something that I'm eating you know, every week. I'll do this once a month. And, and your omega-3 intake you know, doesn't have to be on a daily basis, as I said. You, know, you can just have some fish every two weeks or so to get your omega-3s in. These are so good. What did they do to these? One of my viewers ate these and said, oh my God, Frank, these are like crack. So everything Frankie Boy tells you is primo stuff. I'm like starting to sweat from all the histamine I'm eating. I don't think I explained what histamine was in this video, um, but I do have a couple of videos where I do. Um, I think I have three or four videos on histamine intolerance. All right, so I just ate $9 worth of mussels in like two minutes. So uh, I'm actually good. I'll save this one for another day. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna eat anything else today. Uh, I'll probably have a couple tablespoons of honey before and after my workout. Maybe not. Uh, maybe I'll just keep this a high protein day and try to stay really hydrated. So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully this gives you some ideas to get in a lot of nutrition, keep those nutrients balanced, while not having to prep any food, maybe you're really busy one day. You guys know how to support me down in the description below. Definitely check out Frankie's Free Age Meat for the whey protein, the caviar, and hopefully the mussels. I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Oh,